Yo, <clears throat> what's up, Sexy Samalander Squad? Still recording this before the AMC game. As my boy's just on that perma ban list. But I'll get him. Oh, I'll get him one day. And when I do, I'm gonna go full tank animosity, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but today... But today... I'm just gonna go Death's Embrace. Yeah. No. It, it, yeah, I mean... I'm just gonna do what, uh, you know, you'd expect from a, a warrior. Oh, Max, huh? Probably go Shell here. So, I fought that, that, well, I guess, you know, technically that's episode 4, which will be uploaded yesterday. Thanks, bud. Um, and this will be episode 5, which will be uploaded tomorrow. No, that'll be uploaded two days from now. I don't know. It doesn't matter, really. All that matters is that I don't feel like streaming. So instead of streaming, I'm just going to pump out as much YouTube content as I can. Save myself some work for the future. Nah, mean. Nah, mean, dude. <laughs> Color me incredibly surprised. That he did not double buff. You know, he did start with the exact same build as me, except he went multi, I went mana. I'm surprised he didn't double buff, honestly. Keep this area private. I do believe that I am in a better spot than him. Actually, he just hit five. Just surprising. Alright. I'm just gonna fight him here because I don't think he wins. Nice. Nice. I was able to silence the, the Mr. Turk form. You'll love to see it, dude. You'll love to see it. Let's back out of here. We'll get my booties. My booties of immense power. Switch to movement speed form and run straight for that red buff. He's actually going first out of Mage of All. This isn't bad, by the way, I just... Hello? Oh! Oh! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, let's go! The extra protection from using the, um, from using the two, which gives you some mitigation, as well as using the one whenever I could in order to get not only increased movement speed, but the heal to tick to help me live. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Now we have the exact same build, but I have a full boots over him. He's not going to enjoy this very much. Alright, we ult, he ults. I stun, and then his ult goes off, no big deal. I stay in my power stance, switch to movement speed when he runs. Use my two, one auto detonate, and that is a kill. He bracered way too late, probably didn't have the cooldown up to be honest with you. I'm expecting a surrender, to be honest. Maybe. 
I'm expecting a surrender. Um, he does have Itch Ball, though. I also have my Itch Ball, though. Nice. So again, we have the exact same build, only... Oh, you don't go Chalice when you're behind, dude. You're already 900 gold behind. Buying Chalice sets you 300 gold even further behind. Obviously, it pays for itself at the end of the game, but... Early game, you're setting yourself further behind, and it's really not worth it. Not that fast. I'm gonna go move speed so I can try to... Intercept some of these. Rude. I just don't want him to get the all the gold for these, you know. I'm chilling if you want to just keep taking it. That must wow. So we did go Ichaval. And the Ichaval did fuck me up a little bit on his side, but My H of all gave me so much power, I was able to kill him through, through the minions while being ulted. That's nice, dude. That's very nice. I'm gonna go Berserker Shield next. I really like this. Normally, you wouldn't go Berserker Shield next. Normally, you'd go Midgard or Frostbound or something to kind of snowball your lead. But I want something with more power, you know. Like I don't just wanna. I don't just want to go for survivability. I want to try to win the game too, you know? I guess I shouldn't be maxing my three. I should be maxing my one. Keep this area oh, hi. Am I scared of him? The answer is a resounding yes. Under his tower. Not under his tower, I'm not at all. My- ah, oh, bro, I used my one. I used my one, which got the, the, the global cooldown. Basically, like, my animation. Um... And it took priority over being able to shell. Right which sucks. Your middle tower is under That's attack. big suck. Oh, I get 69 XP for the archers. Or for the melees, I mean. Let's go, dude. Pretty up there in terms of pogality. Alright, that was a huge kill for him. Because I was on a killing spree and... That means he comes back quite a bit. That means he comes back, actually, a lot. I go get my Berserker shield. I, might hurt someone with this. I don't really care if he uh, gets that wave for free. Not intimidated. He's going Midgard. That's definitely the play you should go. But I'm going to go Berserker shield into Midgard. And assuming that... I can win one more fight before we both finish that item. We should finish it at the same time. Oh, maybe not. He got more gold than I thought he would. Thankfully, this is like so easily securable for me using my two and my power stance. I will, uh, silence straight into an alt, I think. Alright, there's his bracer and his ult. Yeah, he is not a. Uh, he's definitely not having a good one here. That's down, which sucks, but that's okay. Probably gonna try to two me and then fight. My whole game plan is just try to keep him pushed under, you know? Nice, 
I don't even have to use my shell here. Nice, nice, nice. Um... Unfortunately, I think he does get Midgard right now. Which means he wins the fight, unless I can somehow also get a Midgard right now. Which I can't. Um, because Midgard is expensive, isn't it? 2300, right? He did finish his. So I think we just farm for a little. The reason I'm not backing you might be like, Sam, you can get tier 2. Why not go and back and get tier 2? Because tier 2 is not going to win me the fight. And if it's not going to win you the fight, you might as well just avoid fighting and stay out and farm. Right away. So that's my game plan. Once I get a Midgard of my own, then we are in uh, a very good place, which I can get right now. But if he's pushing wave, I have to clear it. He's not. Was oh, he doing bull? No, I don't hear him. Scared. Peculiar. Maybe doing it now? Yes. Now that he knows I checked nice it? Cool. No. Yeah, well, I just have a full Berserker Shield over him, which is basically 40% attack speed, 80 power, 10% pen. Oh, well played, though, on the timing of the red buff. Recording? I am recording, nice. Let's feel the sand ward. An award there. I have a full item over him, so I'm really not scared of this fight. Nice. Yeah, I have that full Berserker shield over him. And it's not like I lost a lot of HP doing fire. So... That was a pretty free fight for me. We both used our relics. I'm going to go Toxic Blade next item because he has Bracer, which I don't think you should ever go Bracer when you're going Destin Brace. Because they're going to get anti-heal anyways, but... No, they each their own, I suppose. Doesn't really matter. Alright. In fact, actually, I will not back. I will go for his buffs first. The reason I go for his buffs is to push myself to level 20 faster. To potentially just get a full on Death Embrace next back. Obviously he's going to turtle form away from me. He knows he doesn't win the fight right now. Now blue buff to red buff should get me to level 20 and then... We go back, we finish our Death Embrace, and we start our Toxic Blade. He's pushing up. Big mistake, because I fight him here. It's a good idea not to fight back, since he is Midgard. Fine. All I really, like, I didn't need to really do anything there. I just wanted to punish him for being aggressive for no reason. 
Alright, level 20, so we go full on Death's Embrace and then tier 2 Toxic Blade. I really like toxic this. Blade. And then what do we do? He got Kins. It's not a bad idea, but when he's not auto attacking as much as I am, it doesn't really matter. And with Death's Embrace, I'm healing, you know, more than anything. So it doesn't really matter. At this point in the build, I can now go and tank his Titan while tanking him. While tanking the Phoenix, while taking the Titan, while tanking the Bull Demon, while accidentally standing in his fountain. You know, like, it doesn't matter. I just, I just won't die. <laughs> like, that's really the point. Actually, ulting there was a really poor decision on my part, um, because I could have easily died. Uh, I could have easily died because that, like, four seconds where I'm slam, 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 stun, I am not healing. <laughs> Which is, so ulting there was actually a really bad call. The fight wouldn't have been uh, as close if I just didn't ult. But I took about 6,000 damage from the Titan during that fight, so... I'd consider that to be a pretty significant amount of healing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys.